Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As we talked about in yesterday's video, the potential of a team of the group stage loading screen was coming and that indeed did arrive. We had a loading screen yesterday and currently as you see here, telling us that team of the group stage is coming on Friday. And also we have news on Twitter that the whole team is leaked. The whole team has already been leaked on Twitter as it normally is these days because so many people somehow get their hands on this information early and we can't just oversee that and not talk about it because it's affecting the market. And of course, to cover the market and what is going on, we have to talk about all this information that is going on and being passed around and these leaks that usually are pretty reliable this year. It's kind of crazy how accurate and reliable a lot of these have been, specifically from these few different guys, I guess you could say leakers. So we know most of the team that is supposed to be coming out on Friday. So we're going to take a look at some of those cards today and also, again, talk about how in the last two years, and especially look back at last year in this game, how the team of the group stage promo has actually dropped the market a lot. There's been a lot of cards that have dropped in price on the market and people are starting to prepare for that because they remember this from years past. Again, right now, everything seems to be very inflated, right? You look at cards prices that are very, very high, like some of these signature signings players, like you look at Renato Sanchez, who's almost 900,000 coins. You even look at... Um, the fodder cards that are a part of this signature signings team. Uh, you got guys like that Carlson and that Edwards that are like 60,000 coins because so many people are doing SBCs. It's just driving the price of fodder up because so many people have coins in this game. Um, and that's got everything in the market really high. So I'm curious to see if that drop off again happens after this weekend. I think it could, but I want to talk about the potential of why that could happen and how that would happen if it were to be that same case again this year. So let's take a look at the cards that are leaked, right? Again, we can believe these. We can believe these all that we want, but of course they're still leaks. So we have to just kind of believe them just in the slightest. They're not 100% true because EA did not tweet this out. Today on Thursday, we should get a new loading screen, which might preview some of the cards. And that might give us a clue on if some of the leaked cards that we're hearing are correct. But as we talked about in yesterday's video, team of the group stage, EA always go out all out for it. And it looks like they're going pretty much all out again. Look at the big names that we have leaked so far as a part of this promo team. The first five cards, uh, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, Salah, Marquinhos, Cancelo. Everybody was up in arms yesterday about Cancelo not being in Team of the Week 11 because two goals uh, for a center back, that's a Team of the Week worthy performance and he did not get in. So it all but makes sense now that he is leaked to be in the uh, team of the group stage promo. But those are some big name players, right? Salah has the player of the month that a lot of people have done. Marquinhos just had a team of the week card. He's got a road to the knockout stage. Cancelo just had an inform that was in best of team of the week. Um, Lewandowski just did not win Ballon d'Or. And there's a lot of people that would love to use a Lewandowski card in spite of that inside of FIFA, I'm sure. So this is the first set of cards that are leaked. The second set, Bruno Fernandez, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Anthony another Nkunku, Sané, and Thiago Jalo, which this is a center back from Lille. Perfect link to Renato Sanchez. We'll take a look at that card um, here in a second as well. That could be a disgusting, disgusting card on this game what they give him, when they give him an upgrade. So these are some of the names and some of the items that are dropped. First special for Bruno Fernandes this year. Of course, Trent had the uh, rule breaker. And Cuckoo, this is, he's already had so many specials, but he's just playing insane, right? That's how it works. This guy's playing insane, so he's going to get special cards on FIFA. A couple other names that are being thrown around. Donnarumma is another one. And, you know, the, the interesting thing that I'm seeing with, like, all of these cards, these are all Champions League teams. All of these teams that are being talked about and all these players that are being quote-unquote leaked are from Champions League teams. So I would also expect there to be, since we saw in yesterday's video too, the card designs for the Conference League and the Europa League, just like we had last year in FIFA 21 with Team of the Group stage, it wasn't just an 11-player promo. They might be dropping more than 11 players into packs this weekend uh, unless they're going to make this up of like two different weeks and two teams and these Champions League players are going to be split up between that. So that just has me thinking a little bit as we head into today on Thursday uh, on this game. So Donnarumma is another one that is supposed to be dropping. So two PSG cards with Marquinhos and Donnarumma, um, two Manchester United cards with Ronaldo and Bruno, and then two Liverpool cards with Mohamed Salah 
and Trent Alexander-Arnold, two Bayern cards with Sané and with Lewandowski. Again, that's why I'm, I say it feels like EA is going all out with this because they're putting in big-name players from those big clubs. A lot of people are, are going to want to get these cards and try them out in Ultimate Team. Now, there's one more leaked name that has not shown up on Trusty Foot Traders' account, one of the popular leakers on Twitter, but FootZone has said that Vinny Jr. is included in Team of the Group stage. Now, since we've had all these leaks already, there's a lot of people already acting on the market and selling some cards because of it, right? Take a look at Vinny Jr.'s second inform. There's actual double panic here on this Vinny Jr. card. There's two things that are making this card drop at the moment. Yesterday, Vinny was like 390 as he normally was. He got panic sold down to 330, rose back to 370, and then the leaks came out that he was going to be in team of the group stage, and he is down again. Vinicius Jr. is in the voting for the La Liga Player of the Month, which is which, in my opinion, is not going to be this Friday. I think that the voting was released just yesterday on Wednesday. I don't think this SBC is going to be out until next week, uh, unless they close the voting. Uh, I really, I think the voting should be out for like four to five days, so it should be out over the weekend. And then we'll see a Vinny Player of the Month next Friday. But that would be for some that would make for some very interesting market movements on this card. Because if Vinny Jr., one of the most popular cards in this game, got an 86 rated team of the group stage card as a part of this promo this weekend, then got a player of the month on top of that next week, we might be going from having an 85 rated Vinny Jr. in FIFA 22 to an 88 rated Vinny Jr. after a special card and a player of the month. We might have an 88 rated Vinny card in like two weeks, which would be crazy uh, to be completely honest. But that's why this card is down because of course people are panic selling ahead of that with all the leaks. Now there's a couple other cards that are being panic sold as well. Again, as you saw, Marquinhos was one of the items included in the leaked team. I don't know if Marquinhos is in for him is here on the front page. I'm going to look him up because Marquinhos, since he was not included in team of the week, his inform price uh, shot up yesterday, right? He was like 200,000 coins, 190. He went all the way up to 230. Then these leaks started to get posted about team the group stage. He went back down to 205, and right now he's like 215, 220. This 89 rated live road to the knockouts, Marquinhos as well, since he did not have a team of the week card, went from like 860K, rose back up to 950, and is now back down to 860 because of course, if Renato was to get a team of the, or sorry, if Marquinhos was to get a team of the group stage, uh, then that card would be 89 rated as well, just as this graphic shows. So those are all the cards that are leaked, right? There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of movements, a lot of preparation, right? Even if as I take a look across the market, some icons have dropped, some gold cards have dropped a little bit. Now the market in general still seems a bit high, um, but you know you do see some people that are selling off some cards. And it's kind of interesting. It is kind of interesting to see some people selling off these cards. It just honestly looks like people are preparing for this bit of, of the market drop that we could expect and some more really nuts cards that could be dropped on the game this weekend, right? Again, you, you talk about all those big names that we saw like Cristiano um, and with Lewandowski getting a special card. Now, Cristiano's ones to watch. No way, man. This is actually up. I can't believe this. Uh, this Cristiano card is not getting upgraded. I mean, I hate to say it, but these ones to watch is according to the EA guidelines. We talked about this in the video yesterday. This card's not going to get upgraded to a 92 if he gets a 92 promo card. So just be wary of that. Uh, the team of the group stage, team of the tournament cards are not going to upgrade this year. Uh, the ones to watch items. The, it, it did happen last year, but this year, the fine print, if you say, or if you could call it that, on the EA website about OTW says that he's not going to upgrade. So just be very, very careful with that one. Um, we did get the wins to watch upgrades yesterday. A couple of those cards had some uh, movements where they dropped down. I bought three Oak Meccanos at 205, 203,000 coins. He's back up to about 230. I also snagged a Hakimi at 320, and I think he's like 330, 340. So I know Atal is probably hurting his price a little bit. But uh, I do have one of those just trying to see if we have a little bit of a bounce today after rewards uh, on Thursday. But let's talk more about this market drop, right? Why has the market dropped the past two years when team of the group stage comes out? Well, you look at this team from last year and you see all the big name players that are in this team. And you're like, wow, these are some really good cards, cards that people are going to want to get their hands on and want to try out on their teams, right? You're exactly correct. But the thing that really makes the market drop is how cheap they are. Last year, as a part of this team, there was only one, there was only two cards that were over a million coins, Messi 
and Rashford. Only two cards, day one, they were over a million coins. Now, why was that, right? You're like, man, uh, a really juiced up Bruno Fernandez. He wasn't a mill. Now he's like 800K. Holland, how much was he? Well, he was like 300,000 coins. Sterling, how much was he? Yeah, 200K. It was for last year's market that was so much different than this year's. These cards were stupid cheap. These cards were stupid cheap. And you look at the pack weight. This is why everything last year was so cheap. Like, take a look at this. Europa, uh, or sorry, UEFA Champions League team of the tournament player, team of the group stage, 9% from a, I don't even know what kind of, an ultimate pack, right? It's a 125K pack, so the biggest pack, but a 9% chance. For last year's game, those were insane pack odds, right? Insane pack odds for promo cards. And that is what EA intended to do last year with this with this team and with these cards. We come out of a Black Friday promo, the market rises up big time. Then they put out some insane cards with Champions League branding, all the big clubs, all the big names get released with more promo items and people sell cards because, you know, these cards are so cheap and they want to just go try out new cards on this game, right? We've seen it this year too with promos. People sell cards on Fridays to try out these brand new ones, right? And these special cards are kind of, since gold cards are so cheap this year in this game, you know, Ronaldo, 600K, when he's usually still like one and a half million coins at this stage of FIFA. Messi's 500K when he's usually like a mil at this stage of FIFA. Mbappe's still 1.3 mil. Neymar's like what, 600K or something like that? Salah is 100K. De Bruyne is fodder. Usually De Bruyne is like 200K still at this stage of the game. And he's literally like one fourth of the price. So, you know, this year, since the gold market's so cheap, everybody wants to use special cards and, and informs and promo cards in their teams. And again, that's where these sorts of items come in with these team of the group stage cards. If this is the big if for this weekend, if these cards, the brand new team of the group stages that are dropped on this game this weekend, if their pack weight is very high, just like it was last year, again, you're going to have to look for higher than 9% with the way that it is this year in this year's game. Like, look, gold 82 plus player or gold 90 plus players, 4.2% from an ultimate pack. Now, I'm, I'm sure there's not ultimate packs right now in the store because there's literally nothing to open packs with right now. Um, but if you look at a 7.5K pack, you know, a gold 90 plus player, 4%, a gold 84 plus, 8%. Like, I know it's, it's really hard. This is a very much a lower pack, right? A, a 7.5K pack versus an ultimate pack. But if you know these pack probabilities like we've seen this year, they're so much higher in years past. And I just think that it's almost inevitable that these cards that are coming out as team of the group stage this weekend, uh, I think they're going to have a high pack weight again. It just seems like EA, this is the way that they'd like to run this promo. Now, we've already had this special item, which is the confirmed team of the group stage designed for the Conference League added into the search filters here. I would expect to see the other two cards coming in very soon. Uh, but that's the big thing this weekend is the pack weight on these brand new cards when they get released. Lewandowski, right? When he gets a special card, Bruno Fernandez. Like how much? This, let's just think about it for a second. How much? You Let me know down in the comments. How much is a Bruno Fernandez special card going to be? This dude is 20,000 coins, 25K, right? He's going to get a plus one. The upgrades that they do on these cards are like a one in form upgrade. That's basically it. Uh, the upgrades aren't insane with these. It's just the card designs are awesome or, you know, the Champions League branding on the cards makes a lot of people like the cards a lot more uh, and they just put big names in and they make them very packable and very easy to attain in the market because they're cheap. Um, so I don't, how much would you say a Bruno Fernandez is going to be first special card of the year? I mean, his card might be like 250 to 300,000 coins. I don't know. Right. It's just because he's still probably going to have less than 80 pace. He's going to have above 90 passing. He's maybe going to have 80 physical or like 79 physical, depending on how they do these boosts. It's just everything this year is, is so cheap. People are going to swap cards in and out of their teams. Uh, you know, at a moment's notice when these brand new cards come out. And I do think that that is going to make some of the market drop. Now, last year we had some big time SBCs as well. So that kind of played into the market drop. But just to show you and remind you of some of the prices that we saw drop off last year, it was the whole entire game. Look at Del Piero. Black Friday happens last year. He goes from 1.05 mil. He rebounds up 100,000 coins to almost 1.2. So 1.05 to 1.17, he maintains his price through the next week. What happens on Friday, December 4th, when team of the group stage drops? He goes from a million coins, 1.1 million coins, all the way down. He drops 200K in one weekend. 200,000 coins as Del Piero dropped in one weekend uh, last year on the game. Neymar went from 980K last year down to 
790k. So Neymar almost dropped 200,000 coins as well. It was all of your meta cards, your higher tier items. People just sold cards that they had to go out and try these brand new cards that were on the game. That's as simple as it was. That's why these cards crashed. And again, I mentioned the SBCs that were out as well. I believe at this time there was like a player of the month, Joao Felix, which would have the, I guess, equivalent kind of hype uh, as the player of the month, um, Vinny would potentially have. There was a Lucas Mora SBC that was dropped. There was a base icon upgrade that was still uh, out at the time. I don't know if I showed it here in the video, but there was just a ton of content like like we were used to this past week. There was base icon upgrades. I don't think I looked at it inside of this video at all anyways. Um, but, you know, we're probably going to have another base icon upgrade. And we've seen the base icon, what, three times now? So we might be on the verge of a base icon player pick coming out. Now, I know a lot of you guys that have lower tier fodder, if we want to talk about SBC fodder uh, for a second, you have a lot of these cards that are really expensive, like your 83s, your 84s, like how much is my tip, right? I just think of an 83 card off the top of my head, and I think of Joel my tip. What, 83 is like what, 2K? Almost not not quite 3,000 coins, but like 2,500 coins. You know, your SBCs that are requiring these cards that are making them go up, are a lot of them are expiring, right? A lot of them are expiring. Same thing with your 84s that are like 4,000 coins. Your lower tier fodder, in my opinion, is gonna drop this weekend but it's gonna just be probably a short drop because I think there's gonna be more SBCs that will be coming out soon that will probably keep that fodder rising, especially if on the high tier, right? I would not sell high tier fodder right now um, on, on this game. I'd be holding, right? And maybe if it drops lower this weekend, that could be another opportunity to buy in. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. But here's my thing. If you wanna sell some cards, if card prices are very high and you just wanna take some cash on a few items, I don't blame you. I, I really don't blame you, whether it's like a numbers up Millie Tao. Uh, you know, numbers up Millie Tao is like 530,000 coins when he was, during Black Friday, he was like 400K. He's up like 130,000 coins on this game right now. I don't blame you if you want to take some cash on these cards and kind of sell them. I know it's like, yo, Nate, I literally just bought my team post Black Friday. Now you're telling me that I should sell? Well, I don't know that it's gonna the market's gonna drop off like it did last year. It all depends on the content that EA drops. But all I'm saying is it could happen again. It could happen again and it would affect the whole entire market like it did last year on this game. So that's just something to kind of be mindful of. I think the cards that would be affected the most would be, you know, Messi gold, um, even Varan gold card, Ronaldo's gold card, who would be out of packs, but got packed so much last week. This is what I think you're going to see with Ronaldo's gold card is almost the exact same movement that you saw with Neymar last year. So Ronaldo literally didn't drop during Black Friday. During the panic selling, he went from 760 down to 620K, and he's literally been the same price the whole time. That's what happened to Neymar last, uh, last year, right? Neymar dropped with panic selling. He was about a million coins through Black Friday, and then bang. All of that supply that came during Black Friday, everybody was selling and trying new cards, doing SBCs and losing some coins, doing those SBCs, and you know he dropped all the way down to 790K. So I think that Ronaldo card from this year is gonna take another hit. Ronaldo might be 500K next weekend. That, you know, Even though he's out of packs, that could be something that happens, right? You may not be 500K, but maybe like 550. You know, So that's just kind of something that I would watch out for. It really depends on how good the content is this week. Once again, if we have a Vinny Player of the Month SBC coming soon, that could impact it. If we have a base icon player pick, that could impact it. And it's all about the cards that are in packs, how much they cost, how cheap they are, if they are really cheap this year, uh, and they're really supplied. There's gonna be a lot of saved up packs uh, for tomorrow as well. We're gonna speak on that because that's gonna in fact impact the market like right away early on. Uh, on the early part of the day tomorrow on Friday, but for today on Thursday, honestly, what I can what I would imagine you see is some cards are still going to rise up for a little bit of a post rewards rise. You know, some of these ones to watches uh, that got sold off a lot, or you know, pl people that are still trying to qualify for weekend league and get their rewards day, they get some coins. There's probably going to be some people out there that go out and and buy a few teams, and you might see some cards rise up a little bit on the market today. I feel like it would be on the middle to lower tier. I'd watch your out of packs cards for sure. Um, you know, some people got heroes with their hero packs, which by the way, I got to update you on that. I got an insane pull from the squad uh, for the squad and the squad is looking way different. So I'll update you on that at the end of this video. Um, 
but just just watch some of your out of packs items and again watch out for panic selling and also like rash investing um that i was talking about that tiago jalo card right this is tiago jalo he is a center back in the league gun this is a perfect link to renato sanchez look at this card 83 pace 74 defense 77 physical medium high this guy's probably gonna have like an 83 rated promo card or something like that six foot three um, this card's going to be disgusting. It's going to be absolutely disgusting in game. He's going to have probably like high eighties pace, mid eighties to high eighties defending and physical. This card's going to be unreal from a face stat standpoint. Everybody's going to want to use this card. He's going to be, he's going to be basically, in my opinion, he's going to be the equivalent of like the Corona from a couple weeks ago on rule breakers. He's going to be nuts. So just keep an eye out for that car. But since he has leaked and since people know that he is hyped, right? People are going out and investing already. Take a look at this Anthony Lopez rule breakers card, which would be obviously a green link to that Tiago Jallo. He's uh, he's up from like 12,000 coins to 17K. So people are already starting to invest on these leaks. If I were you, I would be very careful with that. But what I'd be doing right now is just watching some of these panic sales on the market, like the Vinny card, um, that is down a lot. Some of these ones to watch is just, just keep an eye on some of the panic selling because usually there is a point if, you know, like Vinny were to somehow not be in the promo team this week and, you know, uh, people would go up back really fast and, and be jumping to buy this card back for weekend league really, really fast. Cause it's still, again, remember people are using Benzema right now. Benzema has got all the hype in the world with that SBC being so popular this past week in this game. So many people are still building around Real Madrid links and Benzema uh, in this game. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Wow, my team needs some contracts. But this is the new TFA squad. Yesterday, I ripped open my uh, hero pack given to me, of course, from pre-ordering the game. And I packed Di Natale, man. Unbelievable scenes on a Di Natale pack pull. So I've done uh, three hero packs this year. I've got a Betty Pelé, the free Di Natale, and then Al Jaber. So since I got Di Natale, I got to fit him in the team somehow. So I did the Chiellini SBC yesterday, crafted him with stuff in the club, spent about 50,000 coins. I'm using the red Joaquin Mailman at the moment. It's not the best team ever. It's just kind of a weird looking team, to be honest. But uh, the team is very attacking and very saucy. You're like, Nate, where's your defense? This is Verone is my defense, and he's terrible. Uh, but the attack is incredible. The attack is unmatched. It's so much fun. But that's a little squad update of Reno. I got to maybe try to get involved with some foot champs this weekend. My qualification is open uh, in this game. So that's kind of, uh, you know, looming. And then also, I got to say a word about this. GG's to EA Sports. This this one is worthy uh, of a hand clap because King Kazumira and Nakamura, both these cards, if you're not doing this SBC, you need to have a little slap in the face of fun, man, because these cards are so fun. They upgraded the work rates. Both are high low. Both have really good stats in game and they're cheap. It's really cheap to do these in 83 and an 84 squad. Just craft these with upgrade packs next week during team of the group stage. If your club is dead and bare like mine is and save them for fun squad building uh, opportunities or maybe icon swaps or, or I don't know. Icon swaps probably not going to be any Japan requirements, but these cards are just straight cool, man. This is just fun. Just fun is what this is. It's not insanely meta. It's just fun. Although this Nakamura card kind of looks dope. You put a hunter on that dude, he looks insane. So GG's to EA Sports for that good value and that fun content. You even get a tradable Prime Electrum pack that you can save for the promo this weekend as well. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, now, again, today, all of your Black Friday content or most of it, apart from a couple SBCs, is expiring. If you want to do a last chance Premier League 81 plus double upgrade for some of those Prem guys that are leaked to be in the team, that could be a good shout. Also, if you wanted to stack some of the uh, 75 plus player picks or 82 plus upgrades or whatever, that could be a shout as well. So kind of your last opportunity to stack a few packs for this weekend if you do want to do that. But today on Thursday, again, I'm not expecting a whole lot of content, maybe some sort of like SBC. Uh, of course, marquee matchups will be coming out today and a loading screen potentially showing us some teasers of what cards might be in the team. But of course, since we already had the leaks, we feel like we know what is coming. So apologies for the very long video, but there's a lot to talk about and a lot to go over with what could be another crazy weekend on this game with team of the group stage so if you enjoyed this video hit a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it has been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace